This is roving reporter Ole Svensson with KCBS. We've just received a hot tip of a possible murder or suicide at this residence. In fact, here comes our detective now. Detective Eagle said, Moorhead PD. Yes, uh, I understand this is uh, this has happened several times this week. Is that is that correct? Yes, this is our fourth case this week. Depending on we haven't looked at it yet. Well, you know, I understand you're working undercover on this. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, now that everyone knows, I am. Can I, can I join you on this uh, investigation here? Well, I suppose it's just going to be the same as everyone knows already. Okay. Wait! You're on my turf now, buddy. You do it my way, the Moorhead way. Yep, another case. Oh, that's... Mm. Hey, she, she's dead. She's dead. One. Fruit case? It's the same. The same stuff. I got to take some back to the lab with me, but... No, no, rumor has it that all four of these other deaths this week were fruitcake related. Probable OD. Is probable, that can probable. You, can you release that to us? No, I cannot release that at the time, but, but that's... Well, just one other, one other question. I, I understand that there's a new ring from Columbia that has moved into this area and is, and is pushing a harder, stronger brand of fruitcake. More potent, more lethal? Yes, we have detectives on that right now, but that's all I can... All right. Uh, uh, KCBS has also heard that there is another similar potential death. Can I can I accompany you on that? Is that well? As long as you're going to beat me there again, anyways, you might as well come with me. All right, let's go. Let's hit him. All right, this is Roman reporter Ole Svensson again, tagging along with Detective Fuelstead. Called to this residence because of suspicious circumstances. Can we go in? Yes, let's enter. Wait. Oh, we have such bad memories. Fruitcake again. Fruitcake and lutefisk. Uh oh. The worst. We all know that fruitcake and lutefisk don't mix. That is the worst. He was probably gone with, within minutes. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. That's the one. sixth one this week. Yes, sir. Wait, you cannot touch this. You take all this back to the lab. Alright. It looks like the druggy type. Maybe we can go sometime, but I don't. Not this way. Here we are on location outside of the suspected drug dealer's house. Now I understand. Detective Hero said that just one year ago we had a bust here because this was a well-known crack house. Is that correct? Yes, you are right about that. But that was when crack was candy compared to the fruit nut cake. Fruit cake, yes. Yes, yes. yes indeed. And I've scheduled a, uh, an appointment with a supposed drug dealer at this residence here, and we will be going in shortly to bust, make the bust. Well, I understand um, you are an undercover agent. Yes, that is right. Well, rumor has it that Although this house is no longer a crack house, that this neighborhood considers it to be a well-known fruitcake house. Is that correct? Yes. Many of the many of the neighbors are moving out even because of it. So we have to stop them now. Okay. Well, let's follow you in with our hidden camera. Go. Are you armed? Yes, I am armed. It's dangerous stuff we are dealing with. any alarm to the, to the people inside. We will not do the Moorhead normal bust in. Okay. We will do the typical KC bust in. Okay. Yo, Fred. It's me. Hey, Fred. Aren't you ashamed of dealing fruitcake to poor, innocent, 
developing teenagers? Do you know how many countless deaths you have caused? He has remained silent. I see he's one of these psychopaths where he doesn't show any emotion. He's trying to get out. Stop him. First come. Get the cuffs. Okay. And we're up. Okay, Detective Pugelstead, after seeing the countless tragedies that this deadly substance has caused, do you have any words for our viewing audience and what they should do if they're approached by someone like this terrible Tyler, the drug dealer, with this substance? Yes, I have three simple words. Just say no. Okay, and now, back to you at the station, Thank you.